Guys, we're back on G1. Also, welcome back to the vlog, but welcome back to G1, more importantly. So I actually found a regular spot right down from the Chargers, because both Chargers were still taken when I got back yesterday. Fortunately, the guy moved last night. I popped in there. Hey. Ready? Wait for it, wait for it. Cue the garage. Cue the garage. Uh-oh, the garage is broken. There it goes. That was odd. Ah, uh, welcome back to the fully charged Tesla, guys. It's nice to be back. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful thing when you get into the car. It has 248 miles of range. It's not quite fully charged. There's a little bit of time left, but a very small amount. I think it's like two. Actually, you know what probably happened? Probably fully charged, and then it'll automatically stop charging. Anyways, uh, let's. Uh, we're heading to John's shop today. So yeah, surprise, surprise. He is is actually available. Um. He's up at his shop, so we're gonna head up there, check out the Supra. Um, I, I don't think he has the Saab with him today because he has his dog, so he used the Volvo. But that Volvo was fun. That Volvo was very fun, very fun. We got that fuzzy thing for the microphone, the little fuzzy puffball. I don't know where it went. And well, it's windy out today. It's very, very windy. There's like gale gust warnings until, I don't know when, but there's, there's those. Where did it go? Oh yeah. Let's roll. My goodness, it is windy out here. Um and you hear it that much more in a dead silent Tesla, but I mean, those trees are swaying. Woo wee. Guess we'll be staying inside the garage at John's. Wow, yeah, it's uh, it's gusty, it's gusty. It's gusty for sure. All right, we got like a 45 minute drive ahead of us. Let's roll. Guys, we got a C63S here. It is insanely gusty out here. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. I don't know if the microphone will pick it up. But like you can, f I can feel it move the car around. And this is a heavy car to be getting pushed around by the wind. Like it's really gusting out here. So luckily we're gonna be inside because it's gonna be freezing. And nothing like a good old fashioned beverage. raising suspension based on my location and you know what that means yep a little bit of off-roading here gonna get a little muddy car is gonna get even more disgusting the, th the things I do for you guys I mean I'm, I'm out here taking my Tesla off-road just so you know we can we can see some Supras we can see some Saabs we can see some 25th anniversary S4s it's all good stuff it's all good stuff definitely definitely putting my Tesla through the ringer you gotta make sure it's good in every environment. Oh, oh, that's why the suspension's all the way up. For those potholes, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Maybe one day they'll pave this. One day, one day, maybe. I don't know. It's not up to me. Ooh, looks like we got a lot of people here. We got a Acura here. We got a BMW. Looks like a Seven Series. There's a. Ooh, is that an M3? Did they just pick that up? Guys, there's some surprises here I didn't even know about. So this is pretty cool. Looks like we got a M3 with um, temp tags, so I don't know what that's about, but pretty cool. Is he gonna like repaint it and stuff? Yeah, he's gonna do my buddy's shop to repaint it, so it's... That thing's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Strip the whole car, repaint it, do the manual swap all at the same time. Oh, this is automatic? Yeah, it's an automatic. Oh, okay. That was like the biggest downside to the purchase, but... Gotcha. It was really dirty when we picked it up as it was, and so, yeah. I mean, was it in good running condition, though? Or? Not really great condition. I mean, he drove it for like two weeks, and then the radiator went, and so he thinks that it's like gasket related anyway. Uh, okay. So, I don't know, but he's like, I think when he bought it, he was saying he assumed it was in good running condition, but he keeps finding stuff. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's why I bought it. 
why we're gonna rebuild it from the bottom up. You run it and you think it's one thing, and you start taking things apart, it's another thing. Yep. How long will, would like is he planning on this taking to build? Uh, he has two months max. Two months. Yeah. Oh. Sorry for that. That's uh. uh <laughs> Bell, um, hey, chill out. There's no more. She, she'll, she'll get all nervous and then it makes him all. Aww. He's not actually gonna bite. He does this little nibble thing with his hands. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> These guys are huge. Oh, oh man. How you yeah, doing? Story, story of my life. St. <laughs> okay. Bernard. St. Bernard. English Mastiff. Okay. I feel, how long have you had the English Mastiff? Uh, she's been the longest. We got her back when we bought the house in 20, the uh, beginning of 2015. <laughs> so, she's, okay. she's uh, just turned four. I, he's a uh, big guy. Oh, only two? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the interior of the Supra. Got the nice floor mats. Unfortunately, this is just a uh, automatic one. They're doing a manual swap in here. There we go. I never realized, so I've actually never been in a Supra, but they're very driver focused. So when you're sitting as a passenger, everything's pointed towards the driver and not towards you. Alright guys, if you haven't seen the interior of the Supra, here it is. <laughs> it's obviously a little, uh, a little dated, but... So clearly there's a Alpine aftermarket radio. We got the, uh, the tachometer, speedometer. I like how they do the tachometer front and center. Uh, obviously just the temperature and fuel gauge. We got some mirrors, tilt stalks, all that good stuff, but here's the, uh, the driver's door for the, the windows, door locks, and everything. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see this done, and I think they said it's going to be about a two-month project. They're doing a manual swap on it, so very curious to see what it's going to end up looking like. They're gonna have extensive uh, body work done as well, just to you know, obviously clean it up. It's definitely has not been washed recently, but um, you know, even on the back here, just get some of this stuff off of there, uh, fix the rear a little bit. But I'll be curious to see this car when it's all fixed up and looking good. Pretty sweet project they have here, though. And this exhaust, I mean, look at this thing. This thing's gigantic. Pretty sweet car. I think we found the taillights for the Supra. And as always, the S4, 25th anniversary.
Yes, I know. She just can't. And he's still trying to fly. <laughs> Yes, yes, guys. Preheating. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Thank goodness. So when I got here, there's a bucket of water that was not frozen. As I'm leaving, it is now frozen. That's how quickly it froze. And um, well, it's it's 27 degrees outside, so nice and chilly. Supposed to get down, I think, to the single digits overnight. But anyways, that M3. That M3. Uh, definitely a blast. I mean, it's a it's a, a straight six, flat six, something like that, I think. That thing sounds good. It really pulls. I mean, that thing was a blast. They do have a 750, seven, seven series right there. That's a seven series. And then um, right behind it, that black is actually an M5. But uh, I think they're both personal cars. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, so anyways, I'm really excited to see what they do with the, uh, with the Supra in the coming days, well, I guess coming months. So he's saying it should be about two months. Who knows how the build will go, um, and what they actually have to fix and what else they might run into. So, um, very cool, very cool stuff. So we're heading home now. Um, and, uh, I guess, I guess that's going to be it for the day. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But anyways, the Tesla, the Tesla is always the, tr the trusty, the trusty off-roading Tesla, guys. We're just, we're killing it right now. I mean, this car is absolutely disgusting, and well, this mud isn't really helping, so, eh, it is what it is. Oh, man, the tires, the tires were a little squirrely coming out of there. Ooh, traction control still kicking in. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah, that, that torque, that torque just throws you back every time. That is fun. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking for a second car. I, th I thought I, uh, I pitched the idea of potentially getting like a beater Miata just to like mess around with. The problem I have is I'm living in an apartment building and it would cost more to have a parking space for the Miata in my building per year than the car would cost itself. So, you know, it doesn't, uh, doesn't make a lot of sense to get. The other option obviously is still looking for the Lambo. I would love a Lamborghini Gallardo with a nice gated manual transmission. That's the other problem. They're hard to find. They're rarer cars. And, uh, well, when I find one, you know, then you got to get the financing. It's just, it's a process. It's a process. So it's not going to happen overnight, but soon, soon, hopefully soon. We'll see. Maybe ish, soon ish, you know, that's kind of a 2019 goal right there. I think the Lamborghini is a 2019 goal. We'll see. And then maybe we'll have some, uh, some fun projects along the way, but, um, for now it's the Tesla and the Tesla. The Tesla's absolutely fantastic, guys. I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's the Tesla. It's, fan, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's just, whoa, hoo -hoo. trash control kicking in like always. It's fun, it's fun. Having a rear wheel drive Tesla is definitely an experience, I think, because, well, if you turn traction control off, you're spinning tires like that. So um, I, I haven't driven a P85D or a P100D without traction control. That would be a lot of fun, I think. We made it back. Obviously, you gotta you gotta plug it in and charge it. And if you're in a charging spot, remember, guys, gotta make sure you're charging. Otherwise, you just look like a mean person, to say the least. <laughs> John's John's shop is always full of surprises. Um, I had no idea the M3 would be there, the M5 would be there, the 7 Series would be there. I knew the Super was there. Um, and then obviously the S4 that I've done in an earlier vlog. Phenomenal cars. Uh, oh man, I wish I could take that S4 off his hands. Or if he would keep it, that'd be cool too. It's a very fun car. So um, anyways, hopefully hopefully next time we'll check out uh, the Saab more. And then, um, well, I can't wait to see how the Super build goes. So. It's gonna be some interesting stuff over the next month or two. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. So uh, anyways, um, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, please like and subscribe, like and subscribe, but that's it, so thanks for watching.